York originated on the river. At the confluence of two rivers to be exact, nearly 2,000 years ago the Romans thought it would be a good idea to build where the ooze and the foss meet. But over the centuries we've turned our back on the water. It floods a lot and it makes moving around difficult. But with a little bit of vision, what we often see as a threat and a constraint could be turned into a great opportunity. Here in York we spend a lot of time remembering the past but we're often ill-equipped in looking to the future. There's a housing shortage and very few places where people actually want to see houses being built. And then we have the regular daily congestion and parking misery. Hi, I'm John Charters-Reed and this is a short film about what we can do to improve the transport system and the housing shortage around the medieval city of York. Much of the land around York is subject to flooding. York's built on a floodplain and there's nothing that we can do about it. Areas along and each side of the foss have been subject to flooding. It's not a great place to build houses. But the Dutch have faced the same challenges and come up with some clever solutions. Floating houses like those seen in Amsterdam's Eerborg neighbourhood. What if we built these small settlements and actually turned the flooding potential into a floating opportunity? The technology already exists and it's proven that these house costs no more to build than conventional housing. This space, along the banks of the Foss, in its prohibitive and useless floodplain, could accommodate 1500 homes. But what about getting to work? How do you get into the city centre when the main arterial roads are already congested in rush hour? Well, there's your answer. York has so far been quite slow at recognising the river's full potential. But floating communities can use electric boats to travel a few miles into town in just a few minutes. These boats are pollution free, smooth, almost silent. You can charge them overnight. So what about the people who don't live near the water? They get caught up in the commuter congestion in the main arteries into York. Monorails are faster to construct than ground-based and light rail systems, easier to build than underground systems. They're fast, reliable and safe. The routes for these monorails already exist and they can work alongside and in conjunction with the existing traffic schemes. Seattle, Mumbai, Moscow, Tokyo and even Chester have adopted monorails and they can turn to profit faster than any other mass transit system. If we want York to succeed and thrive in the 21st and the 22nd century, we need to think and act differently. The solutions are already here. We need to make it happen now.